Hello and guten Tag to War Thunder with Lord Stahlhagel. Today I'm taking up my T3485 because I decided to have a go in my tank some more. I was feeling that I had to take a break from tank driving because I was doing it a lot uh, the last time and I discovered the Spitfires, especially this uh, Spitfire Griffin powered variant and I liked it very much so I was more into flying the last weeks. Nevertheless, let's see what we can do here in the tank gameplay. I'm taking up the T3485, as I said before, but this is a later variant. It has the ZIS cannon, a Russian-made anti-tank cannon. The ZIS cannon of this tank has a clear advantage over the old 85mm gun. It can load an APCR or a composite rigid round, which makes it capable of fighting tigers even in angled position. But now to the in-game commentary, and I hope you have fun with it. We are coming from the side or from the flank and let's see what we can do when we sneak around here around this hill hopefully we will see some German tanks with their pants down I think I will preload an APCR round you never know and there you go there's the tiger and he has seen us yeah that was a bad shot he has seen us and the panther was there too yeah that's the panther no, we don't really have a shot. And the tiger is coming and good hit. I thought I might hit his ammunition and cook him off, but I just damaged his horizontal turret drive and he's now staring at me. And I think he has a shot at me and so I think I will focus on the panther and cannon barrel again. If you're playing German tree or German tanks, was a good hit. You will see that a lot that your cannon barrel gets damaged and so did I. Tiger gets knocked out, the panther tank was pretty much damaged and I think I can risk a shot and took nearly out all of the enemy tank. Uh, it was a bad shot, pretty bad angle. But the panther is done. Cannon breach damaged, barrel damaged, and got in. Perfect. So we managed to distract two enemies and even kill one. Hello. Boom. That's it for you, my friend. So we managed to distract two enemies and even kill two and distract the tiger so that our IS-2 friend can kill him. I think this was a pretty good maneuver and pretty effective. But as you can see, we are getting kept two to one. So I think I have to go over there, but I think the tiger was over there and he's waiting for me, I guess. I think he might see me. Yeah, I think he has seen me. Uh, let's wait here and... Yeah, he's coming for me. He definitely sees me. Um, one big problem, what I or everybody has, with the Russian guns or Russian tanks it's a poor gun depression I really hate the gun depression of the Russian tanks um, but let's not complain about it let's do the best out of it and even though we are getting capped I don't think I should go over there and try to fight a tiger when I don't have the gun depression maybe he's dumb enough to come up yeah he's coming Okay, we got his commander. Oh god, now he's coming. Reload. Oh, he's moving back! I think he might have got us if he pursued. When I fight a tiger tank, I always load APCR um, in the T3485. Because the armor is very tough, and especially on the turret. And most Tiger tank drivers are smart enough to angle their armor well. So with the normal ammunition, it would be kind of impossible to penetrate them. And now let's see if we can have a shot here, if we crouch up sideways. Time is running out. I think I have to do the first move. Oh no, he's coming! Perfect, we took out his gunner. And now we can pursue. And hopefully 
aim for the middle of the tag. Perfect, took out the gunner again. Hopefully we can get the ammunition now. No, just took out the last crew member. And now we have to be fast as light to recap point B. So our tickets do not count down, but I think this game is lost anyway. Nevertheless, we did a good strategy by flanking the enemy, had some success with it, and it was a good game. Hopefully the next one will be better. Around here to the south and to the highest points on the map. I normally do not like to play on the south, I don't know why. I think the north has um, better firing positions and you can outflank a little bit better. Here you are pretty stuck if someone is encountering you from the far south on the map, you are pretty stuck. And on the north I don't have this feeling. I will not drive fully to the south. I think I will go the mediocre way here and take this path up here. So we can have a sneak peek on the point A and still can see who is going to go up to the far south and hopefully passing him and shooting him. I really like the agility of the T-34 and I think it was a tiger. Yeah, it was a tiger. Eventually we have a shot here. Oh no, it was a Panther 4 Ausführung H. So no, Panther 6 Ausführung H. Let's drive up some more and there we go. There's the Tiger tank. And I think I will... Oh, it's a Panther. It's a Panther. Oh no, we, <laughs> we hit the Stuck there. Hopefully Kai can knock him out and bounce a shot, he bounce a shot. He might have hit my upper turret. And we bounce again. He bounce again too. He hit my turret cheek. But now I get you man. Oh. He hit my cannon barrel as always. And I missed my third shot again. I think it's a bad idea to fight a panther tank with my poor gun depression there. Let's focus here on the tiger tank who is capping. And eventually we can get him when he takes a sneak peek out. And as I am saying that, I realize that I don't have APCR rounds with me. I may have um, switched them off because of the last game where I was the highest tier and I thought I don't need APCR. But now let's see what we can do with uh, this ammunition here. There's a premium KV-1B. I think we may have a shot here at his side. Yeah, we do have. Oh yeah, great. He gives us the full sight and I think we can take it out from here. Aim a little bit higher. And perfect hit on the side armor. And the shell fragmented very well and killed the crew. Perfect. And there we have the tiger tank. Oh, oh he's looking at And he damaged my cannon barrel even some more. And my cannon breach. And now my gun is fully damaged. And I was kind of lucky that he didn't destroy me. Good thing is he was so distracted to kill me that my eyes one companion over there managed to kill him, destroyed him and now we are ready to cap point A. And the side should be clear. And I have time to repair I guess. What I will do... Yeah, I think I will do it here. Let's see how long it will take us to repair. Do it backwards. 
to protect ourselves from the ridge over there. And I'm curious how long it will take. Oh, great. 10 seconds. Piece of cake. I really like how they modeled this repair feature so that you have to wait and sit there and kind of move until you're ready or fully repaired. It's kind of fair for the guy who damaged you and even fair for the whole game, I think. Now let's move on and... Bingo! Look what we see here. I think it's the guy in the tiger that we killed before. And what is that? It's an Ausführung M Panzer 3. And we managed to take out the half of his crew, or even more the half of his crew. And this spot over there is an old head. If you appear there, literally everybody realizes very soon and will shoot you. And this guy there is really eager to cap. He tried it in the Tiger and now he's trying it in the Panzer 4. The Trek ate the shot and the SU-152 managed to kill him and blew him up with his nice big high explosive shells, I guess. Okay, point A will be kept by the SU-152 very soon. Just grab me a nice AI kill. Always aim for the middle of a Panzer 4 F2 or the whole Panzer 4 family because the ammunition is stored in the middle and the front of the tank. Couldn't be more perfect for the enemy if the shot penetrates there. It will kill the tank instantly. So kind of a bad engineering there. But helps me in this game a lot. And I think I will try to get this guy, this Panzer 3 Ausführung N, who shot at me earlier and I think he might be still there. Let's have a look. Yeah, there he is. And killed him. A strong turret armor bounces his shot. Good for us. And move on. Always keep moving in T-3485 if you have the chance to. And now we are in a really good spot here. Always be careful on the respawn points of the enemy. Um, they cannot be harmed over 7 seconds, I guess, or 10 seconds maybe, I don't really know. So always be careful with that. But from here we can have a nice, good look over the battlefield. And bingo! What is that? It's the Panther D. And I think he's focusing to the right. Exactly. And that was a big old hit, taking out half of his crew and damage his gun. Oh, he turned around. He's turned around. Hopefully I can get a shot in his turret. I aim a little bit higher. Hopefully that works. Ah, it was too low. I realized it when I was firing. But now a little bit higher. And bingo. Nice kill. Took out his crew. And this spot is really good here. But now I have to be focusing on the guy that I killed. He's maybe respawning here and <laughs> trying to get me back. Um, so I think I move over there and play a little bit peekaboo with him. Okay, let's move on. Go down here. And what is. That. No, move on, move on, move on, move on, and whoa, that was close. Right decision to move on. And I think he may be respawned now, the Panther Driver, if he was it. Let's focus on him. The other guy is taking some time to get over here. But he may be... Got down the other way around. Uh, yeah, I think got the other way around. Let's see what the other guy is doing by now. Okay, he's coming. And, ah, there's the other guy. He moved over the top. And did not want to encounter me down here. 
and I can't understand that. And the other guy has moved. I think we can take a sneak peek here around. And whoa, there's the guy. Down, down, down. Perfect hit, as I said before. The middle of the middle in the front of a Panzer IV is an instant kill because of the ammunition store and the modules inside. Where did the other guy go? I think he was going around here. Oh no, he's behind me. Maybe I have a shot here. The game should be over in a few seconds. Maybe I can kill him here, out of this position. Ah, no, the hill is in the way. And the game is over now, I guess. So people, I hope you had fun, do your best on the battlefield, and I see you next time. Bye!